So Lucinda, just to set this up for the viewers, I know nothing about the position of Santa Fe County Treasurer. I'm doing this because I know you. I have so much faith in you, and if you're going for it, I want to support it. And I just want to ask you um, to tell me, tell us about the job and what the challenges are, what, what you could do better, what you could do or what you could do better. Well, the, I think the, San, the county treasurer's office, possibly in any county, um, is an office that people don't necessarily think about or pay much attention to until you get your property tax bill. Uh, then you notice who your treasurer is, but it's actually a very important function. The treasurer is uh, often referred to as the banker for the county. And to simplify everything, the treasurer is the person who collects the money, i.e. property tax, invests the money, invests the taxpayer dollars, until, it's need until those dollars are needed, and then the treasurer disperses the funds to whatever agencies need the money. And so it's collect, invest, disperse. What kind of things do they invest in? What kind of discretion do you have on well, that? Well, the, there's not, the treasurer does not have absolute discretion over that, but the money goes to all kinds of agencies, uh, schools, fire department, police, a uh, uh, number of uh, agencies that work with senior citizens, yeah. children. No, I meant investing the funds for this to grow or to... What whatever. do you invest in? Yeah. Well, Is that what you meant by invest? Yes, yes. There's yeah. an investment policy that one would have to adhere to as treasurer, which uh, does... There are certain constraints on investments, and the, the priorities are preservation of capital and liquidity because you do have to be able to tap into those funds when they're needed. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then growth, of course. So the investments are somewhat limited to pretty secure uh, instruments. However, there is some room, and something I'm very interested in doing, uh, there is some room for socially responsible investing. Oh. And I... I think that I would like to pursue that um, uh, quite a bit because you can make sure that you're investing with institutions that are socially responsible, preferably doing good and not bad. And environmentally responsible Correct. is included in that. Yes. Yeah. And there are some, <clears throat> there are, you can invest some of the money longer term and that's where some of the more green, environmentally responsible investments could come in. Well, I don't want you to, I, I don't even know who you're running against in this race or anything about the current uh, treasurer, but do you have any comparisons to make as, how, as far as how you would do anything different or better? Or well, something I, like that? I think the, my, the primary difference between me and, and my two opponents is that I have a lot more financial management and investment background. I have over a bit over 20 years of solid professional background in financial management, investing, and uh, investor communications, client communications. So, uh, and that really boils down to being able to explain to an investor what they're invested in and why and, and or speaking to them And about. in this case, the investor is your, the ta county. The, ta the taxpayers. Taxpayers, yeah. yeah. So, as a taxpayer, when I go to the uh, Santa Fe County Treasurer's website, I would like to be able to see oh. how my money is invested oh. and how it's spent. Good. So, and as far as the procedures uh, for how tax notices are sent out and collected and all that, do you find that, as a taxpayer here, do you find that works pretty smoothly or do you... See room for improvement in that? And there's always room for improvement, I think. And, mm -hmm. and there's room for improvement in the way people can pay their property taxes, I think. I mean, I think there have been improvements made, but there's always room for more. Uh -huh. To simplify and ease the payment of taxes. Well, um, 
This is not going to be in depth like I know your endorsement interviews have been because I don't have a bunch of information questions, but is there anything you want to add? Uh, I think that I will just add that part of why I decided to run for this office is because of my background um, in finance. And I think when this horrific pandemic hit us and uh, changed all of our lives overnight, basically, I realized that there will be a huge need for really responsible uh, work around taxpayer money. And I thought, this is the way for me to try to pay back, to try to give, to be a public servant to the community that I care so much about. Mm -hmm. Because we got some challenges ahead of us that are going to require um, being flexible, nimble, and being collaborative and communicative, and I can do all of that. I just thought of a question for you. Yes. People may or may not you know that you're a pretty big-time actress. You used to be a, a soap opera actress, I understand, but now yes. you're a on-call actress, and we see you on TV now and then. If you get gigs that uh, are going to take a week or so, are you, is, does the job have the flexibility for you to do that? I think there is some flexibility. I think... Um, you know, you work hard and make sure everything's taken care of and maybe you can take a day or two to go work. Seldom has it been the case that I've had a week's worth of work as an actress. Um, mm -hmm. You know, most of what we get around here is a day yeah. or two, maybe. So I think there will be flexibility, but this... This position would, and the responsibilities would come first. Oh. And you have office staff there to deal with the public if you need, right? Yeah, the treasurer's department has 15 full-time employees, I believe. Wow. So these are located in town. Pardon my ignorance, I only lived here for 23 years. <laughs> the office is in town, right? Yes, it's in town. Um, and people go there for... To, we, in normal times, they go there to listen to, to be attend county commission meetings or see their county clerk or their county treasurer. Right. Yes. But the treasurer's office per se has how many employees? Fifteen. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wish you luck, of course. Thank you, Jen. Thank you.